What's up guys, it's Punchy, and today we gotta talk about the craziest new oath that dropped in Deepwoken and how it's deceptively, insanely technical. A lot of players that haven't used the oath have been discussing how Chain Warden has limited gameplay or how it's lacking certain things, but I really don't know. After officially testing this oath, and I guess using it since its release, there's a lot you can do that's not instantly apparent to the player. So yeah, this is basically secret tech, and let's check it out and see what's possible with the crazy new Chain Warden Oath. First off, with this oath's design, I really enjoy how it looks and surprisingly how it plays. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit apprehensive about how each mantra works separately from the rest, but so far, it's actually pretty nutty. Also, the drip is very subtle and works with a lot of darker color schemes, which I enjoy. Anyway, on to gameplay, Restrain is probably gonna be the most important of our tools since it can be used for applying the chain status alongside dealing ridiculous damage. The chain slowdown is pretty insane and can be great to force players into situations where they kinda just have to deal with your attacks. Stacking on the pressure against builds with mobility or people that just want to attack from range, you know, it shuts them down after a chain is landed. Anyway, by landing our restrained kick while a chain is applied, slowly increases damage, maxing out a little bit under 2 times damage. Alongside damage multipliers and debuffs, the simple fact that oath damage is true damage, resistance means nothing, and it slams really hard. I'd say the best way to set up your chain with Restrain is casting it mid M1 to cancel the animation and throw out that mantra on blocking players. The chain will apply on block and it can also be good off an uppercut, but I will say it's a very important tool and it's kinda hard to land. Now Rupture, this thing is pretty weird but very cool. Right off the bat, this mantra works differently depending on your chain status. So with zero targets, we can slap the target twice, dazing and dealing damage, and honestly, I noticed this slap Rupture going hard off uppercut interactions or after parry trades to guard break. Surprisingly, the posture output is really nice for this attack and it can set up combos. Now, what's very interesting about the slap rupture is how this thing deals with fainting. If you notice, we can actually fully faint this mantra into an M1 and the mix-up potential is insane. The hard to read animation and sound effect always will play off a of faint and it's almost impossible to react to. Like seriously, how can you tell the difference between these two interactions? One is the mantra faint and the other is the actual attack. Anyway, once a chain is placed, we can use Rupture again to explode and set up combos while displacing the enemy. An Insignia Gem is probably your best friend with this explosion if you do want to combo off that initial knockback. Besides this, moving your camera can also alter the travel direction of this attack and if you want to pull people towards you, you can do that instead of pushing them away. Something interesting about this is how the explosion damage has sort of a delay. Surprisingly, it's possible to abuse Rupture's damage delay to break ourselves out of combos, so if you're hit after the mantra's activation, the chain will pop and break combos easily, which is kinda crazy. Finally, we have a talent called Chain Lash, which is a 50-50 mix-up interaction that, you know, I think is really cool. Essentially, with this talent, every single time you flourish an opponent, it will 100% apply a chain, then pull them close. This is unpreventable and will always happen. At this point, we can wait after the pull and use any combo or attack we want, since our target's already close. But instead, after the pull occurs, we can M1 to send our target away with a built-in follow-up which completely combos into a rupture explosion. So if you want, you can do your own combo or do an M1 to send away. And with that, that's what I found about Chain Warden that the game doesn't really tell you. Despite being super simple in theory, this oath is honestly one of the most technical things in all of Deepwoken and I'm sorry if you haven't played this oath, like it's pretty technical. I'm seriously not overplaying this, but movement and displacing targets is extremely specific and hard to do, and this oath takes both into account. So if you want to pick something up that's easy to use normally, but hard to master, this option might be for you. Anyway, that's all for right now, and as always, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's try to hit 90k subs since we're almost there. Thanks again, it's punching time.